Hi everyone, Michelle here and welcome to The Daily M. Uh, yesterday I was talking about effective communication. I had given blood at the American Red Cross and um, I would stated yesterday that today was the day they were taking a day in Oakland to go through the language of caring and I thought about that this morning as I read something very interesting about pain. So if you think about it, the whole reason why they're doing a course on the language of caring is because there's something very challenging, very hard, even painful for them to talk about. And if you think about it, dare I say, that is maybe one of the reasons why we spend time in the yoga room. Think about it managing pain. It's hard in that room. A good friend of mine who is a 49er, Michael Wilhoyt, hopefully you're listening, hi Michael, is he would share with me that it's the one of the hardest things he's ever done. And you know what? We all know that. It's hard to breathe. It's hot. It's a struggle to stay in the room. But what it's doing is helping us manage and cope with pain coping with struggle, coping with a challenge, coping with something that's hard, and that's life. And the moment that you learn how to manage that, um, you can manage your own struggles and pains outside the yoga room. They don't necessarily become easier, but you don't run away from it and compensate for it in other ways too. And in that, because you're learning how to endure and manage pain, you're also uh, more available to communicate better when there's conflict and disagreement between others. So if there's um, something that's not working in your relationship and there's something that feels kind of painful, you're not running away from that either and you're able to more deal with that um, and be present and manage that just like you do something in the yoga room, right? You're very present with it. Yeah, it's uncomfortable, but you're willing to stay with it and talk about it. So uh, I think it's very interesting all the things that we learn in the yoga room. I know for me, the main reason why I started yoga is because I lost my mom and I lost her at a young age and she passed away from Alzheimer's and she had dementia for four years and I felt like I lost my best friend. So when I did lose her, it was shocking, stunned, uh, just, just destroyed my life. Uh, and going in the yoga room, I was able to deal with the pain. Uh, it didn't go away but I was able to manage and cope with that pain. And as a result, I have to tell you, I'm a better communicator to people who deal with death, who deal with grief. You know, a lot of times people have someone that pass away, they don't quite know what to say themselves, and then their friends don't quite know what to say to them. And I have found that I'm a much better communicator with people that have had loss in their life. So, you know, it's amazing all the things that we learn in that room, but one thing I wanna share in this particular uh, session here with Daily M is that you know pain it's not necessarily something that you invite in you know maybe it's okay to welcome it and you don't want to run away from it because it really is a big teacher and you learn once you manage pain that you're living a life of joy and remember joy is your birthright you don't need to deserve it and pain is something that we're all gonna have so when it's there take a deep breath do your yoga practice and know that you'll be fine and that there's something there for you and you'll endure that and be a better person thanks for listening